Hi guys! It's time to introduce another update to Amped 5 and we've been working tirelessly behind the scenes on our brand new audio features. Let's take a look. Our user interface has a new audio panel, allowing for the visualization of audio while simultaneously viewing your video files. The audio panel is automatically enabled and can be found within the player interface. This can be disabled within the view menu in the left hand corner. A right click within the audio panel waveform will bring up the zoom menu, allowing for zooming into the waveform both horizontally and vertically in order to more clearly see peaks and gaps. Clicking reset will reset the waveform to the original zoom level and clicking hide will remove the audio panel from view. Zooming into the audio track can also be achieved by holding control, which enables zooming horizontally using the mouse, and holding shift, which enables zooming vertically using the mouse. In both shortcuts, a left click or moving the mouse wheel upwards will zoom in, and a right click or moving the mouse wheel downwards will zoom out. Typically, the audio sampling frequency is so high that a sample by sample plot becomes unreadable at usual zoom levels. In this case, the envelope plot is used instead, and you'll see this listed alongside the audio in the panel. With the introduction of the audio panel, you'll also find that audio is now supported by the global stabilization, motion smoothing, block difference, image aligner, multi-view, and timeline filters. Welcome to our brand new audio redaction filter. We've no doubt that a lot of you have been eagerly awaiting this feature in 5, and we're super excited to be able to finally share it with you. Audio redaction will allow you to edit any audio within your video files. In this example, I'll be using car camera footage.mov files. The timestamps of any removed audio will appear in the redacted intervals box. The default setting is for the selected region of audio to be silenced. However, this can be changed to three options of sinusoid sound should this better suit your presentation needs. The redaction volume slider bar alters the volume of the redaction measured in decibels, and you can adjust any required fade between the redaction and the audio using the fade length bar. I can now select which regions of the audio I wish to redact. To do this, hover the mouse over the waveform whilst holding the ALT key. You can now select the section of audio to censor and the region will appear highlighted. Our development and testing teams have worked hard to make sure that the audio panel and our audio redaction filter are intuitive, accurate and as perfect as they should be. We know how crucial it is for accurate redaction. We want to ensure that you can rely on Five for protecting sensitive audio information when presenting your video evidence, be it in the courtroom or in a more public social media environment. You'll now see the option for selecting the quality of a H.264 output file from three options when using the Video Writer filter. Default, High and Visually Lossless, allowing you to have more choice regarding quality when using this format within this filter. When you generate a report, you'll now find that the report folder is named after the 5 project name and you will now be asked for confirmation before overwriting a report folder. When you use the video input feature to capture an external video input, you'll now find that the start record and stop record buttons now provide visual feedback in that stop record will be disabled or greyed out whilst recording is in progress. You'll now find a new parameter when using the add logo filter, namely additional transparency, allowing you to increase the transparency of your agency logo when adding it to your project. 
You'll also now see the option to draw helper lines that follow a vanishing point in order to assist you when using Measure 3D. You'll now know exactly what is happening when you are using Convert DBR for your video files, as an informative tooltip is shown when conversion type is automatically switched to transcode. We've also added the option to ignore black pixels during the computation when using histogram equalization. And finally, when using the histogram tool within the tools panel, you'll now find that the show saturated pixels option works also on grayscale images. More detail about the new features from this update can be found at blog.amptsoftware.com. So make sure to check out our blog page, our social pages, and subscribe to our channel for more Amped content in the future.